How does one arrive at a percentage? That's one question that was really being asked when the Democrats held their nose and closed their eyes to send the Clean Fuel Standard Bill out of committee and to the Senate floor in a partisan vote. There are a myriad of reasons why legislators should take it slow with this bill, many of them well articulated in this Oregonian editorial. But what struck me the most in committee was the brushstroke assumption by Democrats that when implemented, the Clean Fuels Bill should only generate a minuscule increase in gas prices. That is actually what they are using. I'm not making this up. There is more credibility being given to a bias study claiming it would generate a one cent increase in gas prices, while the median prediction from every report we've seen seems to put that number at about 20 cents. Yes, we expected these partisan games to happen at some point, but not right out of the gate. It was a choice they made to go down this road, and Oregonians have to know it. There are compounded reasons why you can't just pass a bill like this without much discussion. All you have to do is open up an Oregon newspaper right now to know why. But putting that aside, Oregonians need to know how this would impact them. Whether you call it a gas tax or not, you will be paying more at the pump if Oregon adopts a clean fuel standard. It has the same regressive nature of a gas tax. The ones most hurt will be working families, small businesses, and low-income Oregonians. The ones who gain will be the larger out-of-state corporations pushing the bill who have the means to outlast businesses who cannot. You know what, Chuck? Why don't we send this to the voters?